Hello, children. <clears throat> it is Tuesday. Is today Tuesday? Yes. Tuesday, November 3rd, election day. And I voted. Did you? I'm actually here at the polls right now. I'm just getting ready to pull out. Um, so here where I live in Berea, there are two polling locations for today. Um, there were others if you voted early, but I didn't vote early. Um, so for today, there are two different locations. Um, I am actually at the Berea Church of God, which is one location, and the other one is the Folk Center. I'm going to drive by the Folk Center before I go home just to see what the turnout looks like over there. But here at the Church of God, there is quite a big turnout, and it's actually 442, so it's almost over for the day. I waited very last minute here before I come over here um but sometimes things happen that way but you know at least I got here that's all that matters right so let's drive over by the folk center before we go home and let's check out the turnout there I have a feeling this is going to be one of the most voted elections in American history I may be wrong but um I remember Obama's second term that was a highly voted election year. Um, so, and I may be completely wrong because I'm not into politics. I'm not. I mean, I know who's running. I know what they're for. Um, but I'm not, like, heavily into politics. It's never been something that I'm, like, super passionate about. I'm not going to say I'm not passionate about it. I'm not super passionate about it. Um... So I may be completely wrong, but I feel like, um, like I said, Obama's second term, I feel like that was a highly voted year. And I just, I don't know, something tells me that this is going to be a very highly close, if not more, because everybody is very, very hard one way or another. I mean, you're either all Trump or you're all Biden. That's just how it is. I feel like in the past you know previous election years there has been you know like well i like this about this one and this about this one so you know like uh, i'm gonna go with this one. i don't know i don't feel like there's as much of that this this election um i feel like everybody's like strong on their choice myself personally i'm not gonna get on here and tell everybody who i voted for um but there are things about each party, as far as the presidential race, I'm just only speaking as far as the presidential race. Um, there are attributes that each candidate state, you know, that they offer, but you know, I don't know, everybody always talks a big game and then it's seldom that they actually follow through suit with those um, allegations. Um, I just totally lost all track of thought. What is going on with me, man? I swear I'm getting Alzheimer's at the age of 37. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I do like things about both candidates this year. I agree with, you know, um, X with Biden, but I agree with Y and Z with Trump or vice versa. Um, but anyway, I knew my heart, my belief system, you know, I'm a Christian. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus as our Savior. So when it comes down to, well, which one do I vote for? Because I like this about this party and this about that party. The thing that broke the tie, I guess we'll, we'll use it that kind of reference, was my belief and what my heart was telling me. What do I believe personally is what our Lord is for or what he is against so that's how i casted my vote i can only hope that everyone else you know uses that same mentality to do so as well and i know that not everybody uses that mentality not everybody believes in god and jesus and that's all right you know it's not my place to judge it is not my place to judge them because judging is a sin same as murder um, so that's not my place to judge you, but I will, I can, I can pray. I pray for our world. I pray for our world and our country and I pray for my city and I pray up on my household because there's, I'm almost certain there's someone messing around at night and it's me and my kids there and I have to protect them. So just pray, just pray in general, just pray. 
So anyway, I got off on a little tangent there. Um, so we're almost here at the Folk Center. I'm getting ready to turn on to Old Town Berea. And the Folk Center will be up here on my right. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip my camera around and let's see what kind of a turnout we have here at 4.46 in the evening. Now, I would also just like to note that this doesn't, um, this doesn't say a lot about, is this not the Folk Center, dude? Maybe this ain't the Folk Center. I thought this was the Folk Center. Is this the Folk Center? Mm -hmm. I don't see any voting signs. Where is the Folk Center? Well, this was an epic fail. Let's see. Man, I could have swore this was, this is the welcoming center. Where the crap is the Folk Center? Hmm. Okay, so let's just uh, scratch this part of the vlog. But what I was saying before I, you know, go out of here and um, go locate the actual Folk Center, this is no kind of um, accurate depiction of how many people actually turned out of these places. Because this is just me being here at one particular time of the day. So, you know, take that for whatever it means while I go GPS the Folk Center. Because apparently I don't know where it is. Now, this is the Folk Center coming right here on our left. And there's, there's quite a bit of people here. So, we're just going to pull in and do a little uh, look around, maybe a little drive around, and then we will go on about our business. So, looks like there's a pretty good turnout here as well. Um, you know, we got cars there and down this line. We have this entire line. So, it makes me very proud to be an American when I see you know, a big turnout at the polls because it is our American right to be able to vote for our leadership. So, I really enjoy when people exercise that right because we could live in a country um, where it is a dictatorship and we don't have this right to vote. We are a democracy, not a dictatorship. And in order to have that right, we need to practice our right to vote so even though this vlog is going to go up later than today i still i'm just putting this out there to the world i encourage you to vote if you did vote thumbs up to you and if you did not vote ask yourself why why didn't you if you are able to now i understand that not everybody is able to go vote you might be a felon or whatever other reasons cause you to not be able to vote. And if you are, then shame on you. And if you are eligible to vote and you just didn't, then shame on you as well. Hello, fellows. It is Wednesday, November the 4th, day after election day. Um, hands up if this election has made y'all just absolutely sick. It has drove me crazy. Um, I I left home at 10 minutes till four. I had to bring Macy and Lulu to Baton. Um, but before that, I had, I still had on my nightgown. I still had my sleep mask up here on my head. I just pushed it up. And I literally been sitting there watching the election coverage. Um, I even wrote down like, I made a list, Biden, Trump, and then, you know, what state, you know, voted Biden, which one voted Trump, how many electoral votes each one had, how, you know, what state to who need to win, and I'm sure several of y'all did that too, I'm just saying, but like, it's about to drive me bonkers, um, I feel this election is going to be a very long one, anywho, um, so I did leave, and I don't know what's happened in the last hour, but probably, probably nothing, just the same old crap, but I got Des with me, it's just me and Des. We went, we dropped uh, Macy and Lou off at Baton. Then we went to Goodwill and dropped off some stuff. Went to storage and I got this stuff. <laughs> I don't know where Macy and Lou is going to sit because I've got the middle and the third row seats down with Christmas stuff everywhere. So I'm going to have to move some stuff back and pull up the middle row chairs. Um, 
But anyway, so I think this evening, I'm gonna go ahead and take my fall decorations down on the inside. Go ahead and clean, dust my furniture and what have you. And then tomorrow, start decorating for Christmas. Yay! It's the most wonderful time of the year. When I'm unemployed and my unemployment didn't come to me this week. For real though? Yeah, I, um, I, I'm on unemployment. I don't know if I've ever said that on my vlogs or anything. Probably have, but yeah, I lost my job May 8th. Um, so I've been getting unemployment and it sucks because, you know, it's not enough. It is nowhere near enough, but it is what it is. So, um, I just feel blessed that I'm able to stay home right now and help with the virtual schooling. Although we're all like failing. We may as well just repeat all these grades next year. Not really, but kind of. Anywho, uh, oh, I didn't get my unemployment yesterday so i was like well it's election day so I, it didn't come it'll come tomorrow well it didn't get deposited today either it says that i was given credit for those weeks but no payment was issued why um i kind of need the payment um online it says my claim is under investigation which is how it was when i first signed up for two months and finally got that fixed so I call and of course you can't get through. They put you in the waiting queue only to kick you back out to tell you that the waiting queue is full. But you will not lose your spot in line. They'll call you back. Well, you know what? I guarantee you I've called over 100 times. No lie, but hand to God, I have called unemployment over 100 times. You know, like I'm in line. I've been in line since May. Y'all, like, anybody want to call me anytime, you know? So anyway, all that being said, <laughs> I'm stressed out about Christmas because I need to win the lottery or um, maybe marry a really wealthy, rich doctor who's about, you know, got like one foot in the grave. Kick the bucket. I'm just playing. But for real though, I am stressed about Christmas. And I'm, everybody always stresses about Christmas, but I'm particularly stressed this year because I'm unemployed and now my unemployment decides they don't want to pay me anymore. <laughs> Anywho, I gotta get off here. I got three minutes till baton's over and I've got to find two seats for two little girls. <laughs> are y'all done? Hey everybody, guess where we are. Y'all will never guess. Our house literally does something. We are at our home away from home. Walmart, because I need some sesame seed oil and some shampoo for my hair. Oh, well. Found it. 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 Found it.